Good evening. I'm Jay Badami from Tishman Construction, and with me here is Pat DiFilippo from Turner Construction. Pat and I have the honor of serving as the co-chairman of the BTEA's 2011 Alfred G. Gerosa Leadership Dinner. It is our pleasure to introduce the recipient of this year's Alfred G. Gerosa Lifetime Achievement Award, given annually to an individual who has, over the course of their career, provided outstanding leadership and service to the unionized construction industry in New York City. The recipient of the BTEA's 2011 Alfred G. Gerosa Lifetime Achievement Award is Mr. Larry Silverstein, the President and CEO of Silverstein Properties Incorporated. Silverstein Properties is a Manhattan-based real estate development and investment firm that has developed, owned, and managed 35 million square feet of office, residential, and retail space. His commercial properties are among the most successful and high profile in the city of New York. Larry Silverstein is truly an icon of the New York City real estate and construction industries. He is best known today for his ongoing commitment to rebuilding the office component of the World Trade Center site, a $7 billion project that will create the new downtown of Manhattan. Larry Silverstein's contribution to the city of New York does not stop with his activities as an owner, developer, and builder. He is a member of the New York Bar and Governor of the Real Estate Board of New York, having served as its Chairman. Mr. Silverstein also serves as a member of the New York University Board of Trustees and is a Founder and Chairman Emeritus of the New York University Real Estate Institute. The number of modern-day developers who have left significant footprints on New York City can be counted in just a few small handfuls. And Larry is certainly one of them. The Jack Rudens, the Lou Rudens, the Larry Silversteins, the Jerry Spires, um, those are the people I think of that have contributed so much to this city in every aspect of its life. From the mark he made on residential building uh, on the upper East Side to his residential and retail projects in Midtown, but most recently from his bold move to uh, acquire the master lease on the World Trade Center site back in 2000, 2001. The World Trade Center site has a very special place in the hearts uh, and minds of the BTA, its members, New Yorkers, and the entire nation. There's no individual who embodies uh, the resiliency of a New Yorker, the commitment of a New Yorker uh, to rebuilding the World Trade Center site than Larry Silverstein. The progress of the World Trade Center site today is just incredible. When you think back three years ago and where we said we'd be, Larry's projects, Tower 4, is going great guns. You see the progress in Tower 2 with the steel literally coming up out of the foundation. Tower 3, the foundation's been poured, so we count our lucky stars and the site's doing just wonderfully. Larry's commitment to downtown, as Larry's commitment to New York City, is absolutely unquestioned. I remember meeting him back in 2001, and he said, I am going to dedicate the next 10 to 15 years to the World Trade Center, and I will never rest until it gets built. That will be his legacy, his perseverance, his energy, and his determination to rebuild what was once lost. The values that we have here in America are extraordinary. Uh, and to be able to rebuild this uh, as testament uh, to, to the values that this country espouses is just a, uh, a spectacular privilege. And I consider myself to have been privileged and be privileged uh, to participate in all of this. So I, I'm blessed in that regard. As an organization, um, Larry is one of the most important clients that my members have and build for. He has a commitment to BTA contractors. He has a commitment to the unionized construction industry that is unparalleled. He's just as concerned as we all are with costs, but he's always been individuals willing to share. Whenever you meet with Larry Silverstein, the meeting always ends by him saying, so how can I help you? He's a very passionate man when it comes on to construction, and I walk with him at least two or three times a week. He say, come on, Frank, uh, we gotta go, and you know, just cuff his pants and just gotta catch up with him, and he'd be just going through like a 21-year-old youngster, you know. Well, Larry's quite a character, and he sounds and looks like quite a character, and he's a wonderful, wonderful man to work with. Very straightforward, very honest, 
and uh, there are no hidden airs at all. He tells it like it is. He's very clear about his direction, and because he surrounds himself with a lot of good people in the industry, we find it easier to be successful on his projects. Larry has stuck with it through some difficult, trying, hard times, but every day he gets up with a smile on his face and a song in his heart, and he just keeps going. And that is just indelible for what downtown is today and what it'll be for its future. It's an incredible legacy for Larry Silverstein. That's his goal, really, to see, you know, everything being rebuilt. You know, I wish him all the luck and, you know, uh, as God's blessings and protection on him and to see him through his final journey, to see all this done.